Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Jivin Tumong and in this video guys, we're going to be reacting to Maria Clara Atibara episode number 8. So this episode is titled Bandits Alert, so without any delay guys, let's get into this. Before that, if you're not watching my reaction to episode 1 to 7 guys, go watch it. There's Maria Clara Atibara playlist that I've made. You guys can find the link in the description below, it might appear over here. And if you can follow me on my Instagram, my Instagram handle is right over here. And please do not forget to share this video to more friends out there, so maybe more people can come and watch this. So I'll be motivated to make more episode reaction guys. So yeah, now without any delay guys, let's just get into this reaction. Unang salta ko pa lang dito, yan na ang tawag sa akin ng lahat. Alam ko ibig sabihin, at para sabihin ko sa'yo, hindi ako prostitute. Natatrabaho ako ng matino at disente para... I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, yeah, we can really... Uh, if you put it in clear words, yeah, we can say decent and indecent or something. However, I feel like, you know, the quality of work should be there. And it's not something that uh, if people want to do it and sustain themselves and that's their choice to make and we shouldn't belittle them okay um but that's also your choice to whether be involved or not so yeah naturalmente Yes, tax the riches, rich people. So you see, sa inyong mayayaman nagsisimula ang pagbabago. Para ang mahirap hindi na nanatili mahirap. Tama ka binibini kay. Siguro nga dapat nasa kamay ng mga may kaya. Yes, and that bitch right there. Ngunit hindi naman lahat ng may kaya ay may kapangyarihan. Kaya siguro, naakamang sabihin na dapat nasa kamay ng mga nakakataas o ng mga pangyarihan. Yeah, power. People with the, people with the power possession. Ngunit, sino namang makapangyarihan ang may bukas na loob na magbigay ng karapatan na makakapantay sa isang indyo? The priest. Yun nga lang po. Selfish talaga ang mga may kapangyarihan. Eh, siguro kung may puso sila, walang inaape at walang mahirap. I believe na sana ako sa iyo eh. Ngunit may mali ka eh. Dahil kung lahat ng mga nagninegosyo at mga pangyarihang tao ay mapagbigay, hindi magtatagal at mabagsak ang kanilang katayuan sa buhay. Kaya siya, pati lang matahaba doon niya, I mean, honestly speaking, the, how much the idea of equality and all sounds nice when it's, when it's just idealism. But in real life, we can never really expect the equality that we can be. Yes, definitely we can increase, like decrease the poverty. Um, as he said, you know, if uh, people in power possession, people with enough money can do something about it. But I guess... Uh, um, there would always be inequality and I think that's how the society works. If everybody would be rich, then, uh, uh, you know, the society would stop working right there if we really talk about it because people, their society needs people from different income levels so that they would do jobs like that. If every person in this world is rich, are strong businessmen, who's going to be their workers? Who's gonna, you know, who's gonna be the staff? So who's, who's gonna be the assistant if every person is the boss? So it doesn't work like that, you know? I mean, it might sound uh, um, very nice that, oh, everybody should be equal and all of that, but it's never gonna happen like that. Society is, is gonna stop functioning right there then. However, one thing that can definitely be controlled is poverty, you know? Uh, to control that people are not living below that poverty line and they're able to fulfill their basic needs. They're getting uh, their basic needs which they have full right to. Oh, Tama ka naman, sir. Wala naman ako sinabing gusto kong bumagsak ang negosyo ng dati kong amo. Dahil kung nagkataon, tamay ako doon, di ba? Ang sinasabi ko lang, gusto kong mag-care yeah, sa akin sa pagpapasweldo niya sa akin. Ano ba alam mo? Ano ba alam ng isang babaeng kagaya mo sa mga kumbigas? This Yun, man is... <laughs> I mean, the episode that I'm in is very misogynistic. The uh, the thoughts and the tone that he's projecting is very misogynist, okay? Uh, and uh, I guess it's also, it is also, I, I don't think it's just his fault. I guess most of the men in that era are because they grew up in a society which taught them that men, uh, women are beneath men. And when you, you know, like hear one thing, 
uh, like when you're small and until you grow up, you begin to believe in that. So I guess more than it's his fault, I think uh, we should point out how the society was faulted at that time and not an individual because individual is impacted by the society and society as a whole failed. So... I hate to say this, Mr. Fidelity. Whatever, Whatever your name is. is. But you're idiotic. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Oh, deserved. He really thought of raising a hand? Yes, we're gonna fight. We're gonna make sure that the, that ball would break. I mean, uh, misogynistic, misogynistic, but I always thought that there was always this thing that women should be treated, like men should give some respect to women and raising a hand definitely didn't show that respect. Like, I'm just like shocked that he raised his hand and if he had not stopped, he would hit her. And that is like, uh, mm -mm. <laughs> No, 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 no. His opinions might be right, but the way he is putting across his point is very misogynistic. It's giving me that male chauvinism. I guess when you really look at it, he represents the older society, right? How it used to be. And uh, Cly represents the modern society, how we are. I mean, although we're very backward on that equality terms, but still, you know, she represents that. <laughs> Maybe if they had equal access to education and if they had equal rights, then he would not have to say so, you know, it would not be rare. Because I think it is because the opportunity was not there for women. I mean, it's still not up to the mark at present, but still, you know, so much has changed. Sweetie, what level are you talking about? Which level were you in just now? You're way beneath the level. I mean, I don't think Clyde has stooped down to any level. She's just defending herself. Oh god, that hand should be set on fire. <laughs> Not kissed. Whatever he is, we don't really care. Is she gonna be stopped from going to San Diego by that stupid man? Santiago. Uh -huh. Buenas noches, Padre. May pag-uusa pa tayong mahalagang bagay tungkol kay Maria Clara. 
at doon sa anak ng Irehe at Pilibustero na si Crisostomo Ibarra. Sumulong sa akin. He does know that Crisostomo's father is innocent, right? And he's wrong. It's just that he's being like this only because he's in the power position. He's very powerful, so he cannot dare go. He, he do not dare to go against him, right? Is that's the only reason, right? I do not think he thinks that his father is crook. At sino ba Santiago para magpasya sa buhay ni Maria Clara? And who are you to question him? Nagkita na sa sanggungi sa akin. Oo, magin po, Padre. Iniisip ko po kasi yung galusong na anak ko eh. Kaya, kaya, inais ko po muna siyang magpakasos sa Santiago. Oo. Doon sa bayan ng kanyang nobyo. Para saan? Para mas lalo silang magkalapit sa Crisosto Maybara. <laughs> Asa mo nga pala yan, ha? Nasaan yung lalaking yan? Kung masabihin sa akin, nagpunta na rin siya sa San Diego. Andito pa po siya sa Maynila. Ang sabi po niya sa akin ay uh, marami pa po siyang uh, sikasuhin. He lied, kaya, right? Kaya po ang lakas ng loob ko na pagbakasyonin mo ng anak ko sa San Diego. Muy bien, muy bien. Why is meddling on somebody's personal affair? Just because he's godfather? Padre, nasubaybayan ko po ang paglaki ni Chris Augusto mo. Mabait po siyang bata. Kaya, pakiusap po, huwag niyo na po sana siyang idamay sa galit niyo sa kanyang ama. At isa pa po, mahal na mahal po siya ng inaanak ninyo. At ayaw po masaktan ang damdamin ni Maria Clara. Masla po lang siyang masasaktan kung magkakatuluyan sila. Oh, bienvenidas. Buenas noches, mate. Clarita? This man is here again. Buenas noches, madre. The, like, do, like, a priest during those times used to have love life? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, like, you know, like, wondering. Because if they are not, uh, I mean, as much as I know, priests are the one who are not married or something like that, right? One thing that you need to do before even looking at Maria Clara is fill up that gap over here. Like, what the hell is that? Oh, y'all told me that that was the, like, uh, uh, that was, uh, what? Uh, that is the kind of haircut that is, uh, like, ought to be there when you become a priest, right? He hasn't done anything bad as of now, right? But I have a feeling... Alam mo rin namang isang pagpapatiwakal lang kung itutuloy mo ang kasuntuhan. Naunawa na, ko po, Padre. Pero malinaw po sa akin na saan sa Biblia na eh, hindi puro pasanin ng, ng anak yung anumang kasalanan ng kanyang ama. Ay, karamba! No, He does not care. He cares about his personal no, no, uh, shit. Ano mangyayari sa iyong kabuhayan kapag ka, pati ikaw ay kumalaban sa akin. Hindi mo naman siguro na naisin na mangyari sa iyong nangyari sa Manibara. Si... Si... Nag-iisip ka, Santiago. <laughs> Pero... Nagbibigyan na rin kita. Lalo na talam kong... Umaasa rin si Maria Clara na makapagbabakasyon siya sa San Diego. Ay, ikaw ba yun? Oo. Oh, dahil sinabi mo na wala doon. <laughs> He's there. Was he gonna know that? May sapat na babala sa San Diego. 
wag ka nang gagawa pa ng kung anong kaangalan. Why? Why can't you do anything foolish when you're walking <laughs> foolishness? <laughs> Lagi ka lang susunod sa akin. One tight slap on his both cheeks and over here. This <laughs> empty area over here. Lalo na kung ikaw nga ay magiging masunore. Okay. The marriage seems in question now. Do they ever get to marry, guys? I mean, the original novel, you guys told me that it ended tragically with Maria's death at the end. Did she die because she couldn't marry? Oh, I also know that there was some sort of sexual assault or something like that involved. And she's suicided. Pumayat ng papa ko. Kakatanggap ko lamang ng telegrama niya kung kaya tamang-tama ang pagbabalik niya dito. Kung kuidado, por favor. Kung ganun ay makakasama ka sa aming pag-uwi ni Maria. Si, eso es correcto, Pia. Muy bien. Mas marami, mas masaya. At mas ligtas. Bueno, bababa muna ako, kakausapin ko ang kutsero para mababa ng ating mga kagamitan. Si, Tia. No, she'll meet her. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, the bandits. Oh, the episode is titled Bandits, so there's gonna be bandits. How are they driving in the dark when you know they do not have headlights? It's okay, there is headlights over here. I haven't seen Firefly too. Oh my god, it's been years. Kaya binibining, Clay. Simulan mo na magdasal upang may ligtas ang ating paglalakay. Yan kung ay didinggi ng Diyos ang dasal ng isang... Oh, oh my God. What is wrong with him? Tama na kayo. Rich? Ang mga ko ay narinig ko na ang tungkol dyan sa mga tulisanis na yan. Sa silang araw, ay nangaharang at ang lolog ng mga tao. What plans? I mean, they're gonna be attacked. What plans they have? Kaya na nagpapatutuon ito. And you will be the testifier now. I would just give him a like, uh, a pinch. They would cry right there. They have to be careful. True that. But I think the whole running horse and that sound is louder than their voices. Oh, this poor man. Oh, 
Oh damn, it's dark. Why don't they, you know, like, like, okay, they have guns, I guess. What are they gonna steal from them? Do they have money? Sa because you not be you not let you go yeah I'm a, I also have a very hard time lying it's not like saying I'm always like speaking truth but if somebody just asks me I I, I, I don't really like to lie Don't they just want money? And if they're getting money, then why? <laughs> I apologize, I would appreciate These are not the words of bandits I didn't expect this from bandits That's a very humble bandit Wait, are they gonna be penniless now? Mario, wag mo silang ituring na kaaway. At paano tayo makatitiyak na hindi sila kaaway? Lalat hindi naman natin sila katulad. Kagaya ng mga sinasabi nilang indio. Itong mga mestisong to ay mula sa lahi ng mga dayuhang ng api sa atin. Kaya dapat na sila ituring na kaaway at huwag bigyan ng galang. Pakiusap, huwag na lamang ang babae kasama namin. <coughs> Hinulit ko. Umanhin, ngunit ang kasama ninyo ay hindi marunong gumalang sa babae. Humihingi ka ng paumanhin. Sige! Sino mas papanigan ninyo, ha? Ako o kayang mga mistiso na yan? Ay, ang mga mistiso na yan ang may dugong dayuhan! Hey! 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 Hey!
I think I'm gonna end it right here. Oh god! <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna be seeing it in number 9, but wait, they left us in cliffhanger. Whoa, that was a great episode. We really have quite a debate. And I love how, you know, the conversation is the kind of conversation that is going over there. And it's uh, eye-opening, I guess, definitely. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for this video, guys. That was my reaction to Maria Clara Atibar episode number eight. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you guys, if you did, please don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, share this video, and I'll meet you guys in my next reaction video. Bye.